Nasty habit of turning up where you're not wanted, Rigmore. I see you've also brought your lackeys along to witness your final doom. Don't worry. Soon I will have their heads placed on spikes on the battlements, right beside yours. Did you think you would get away with it? You and your criminal organization. The lives you have torn apart. And for what? Your plans are undone. Your crimes exposed. You will never be able to accomplish your new order now. Oh, you will see. There will be a new order. We will rule and take our rightful place above the lesser beings. Who do you think is going to believe the word of a washed-up Khajiit emissary anyway? Too bad you must die here. I hope you've brought something a little better to fight my men with than that Daedric toothpick you call a sword. Oh, this is no toothpick, Justicar. Meet Azura's Bane. Do you know what these Daedric runes say? Let me enlighten you. I am the goddess Azura, mother of the rose, queen of the night sky, the dusk and dawn. Behold, Rigmor of Bruma, protector of the pure of heart, daughter of a mother's love. I am the bane of Azura, the poison chalice of woe, vanquisher of the forces of evil. Behold, Rigmor of Bruma, child of the twilight, the chosen champion of Azura. I am Rigmore of Bruma, and you shall know thy bane. You shall know whence thy tears came. Talos wills it! What are you waiting for? An invitation, you fools? Kill them! Kill them both! Good. I'll search over here. What is on your mind? What is yours is mine. All set?
like the blood you are for me! Dragonborn, the one I told you about. Is that bastard dead? Oh no. By the gods, no. <laughs> Dragonborn, promise me. Promise me, you'll never let me go. Please! Promise me! Dragonborn, I... I love you. Dragonborn! Quickly, get the girl! No! You there! Pick up that sword. Dragonborn, no! Forget about the sword. Just kill him, you fools. Help me! Mercy. Guardian, awake! <coughs> Approach Azura's Bane so I can join with you. How are you doing, my friend? She is alive. There is a very important reason they need her unharmed, but I cannot sense why. A very powerful force is obscuring my powers. I am still weak from shielding you from the cold. You were near death, but now alive. I will need to regain my strength to know where they have taken her, and why. Three days you slumbered in the twilight of existence. You helped thwart the forces of evil and have restored the essence of my heart. So I have restored your heart, Guardian, for I will need to call upon your services again very soon. My children in this realm are in danger. The entity must be stopped. I can sense its rage, its fury. The entity wants justice. It wants revenge. It wants transformation to be whole again, complete. If it is successful in entering this realm, it will become unstoppable. A frenzied, violent revenge that can only be quenched with the blood of mortals. All will die. Tamriel is to be cleansed. They still need to establish themselves, but they now have almost completed a portal to oblivion. It Make sure the evidence you have gained is made available to those that need it. Until I regain my strength, the forces of evil must be undermined at every step. The collapse was total. Everything was destroyed. 
and they could not reach you. Oh, how they tried! But it was in vain. They are now full of remorse. They feared you dead and have returned to their units to prepare for the worst. They are safe, but they are lost as to what to do next. They are hiding at the mountain camp of the Huntress for safety. I sense a deep sadness, Guardian. You must go to them and tell them the daughter of Azura lives. Go quickly, my Guardian. Take Azura's bane. You are now its chosen keeper. I will send a messenger when the time comes. Go. Your friends are waiting. What is on your mind? What is on your mind? What can I do for you? Dragonborn, we thought you dead or captured. Rigmore! What happened to Rigmore? Greetings. You Oh no! I hate you! I hate you! Oh my! Nothing the matter, but how do you know? But why? I don't understand. Thank the God she's alive. I'll try to calm Sorella. Greetings. Hmm. Let us retire to Rigmor's den and discuss what has transpired in private. 
something on your mind? You have my full attention, okay? I will unwind a while. Entities. Until a new order has been established in Tamriel, so it all becomes clear. Kajit brought Sigun here because he thought it would be safe. But now, nowhere is safe. What is going on? This one would never have believed it. Tamriel surely is in grave danger. Khajiit will need to travel to Cyrodiil right away with these documents. So you will need to stay here and protect the girls until my return. Well met. Take care of them, Dragonborn, if they find us here. Let us hope it doesn't come to that, and that the gods favor us well. For their sakes, Kajit hopes you do. Well met. She's asleep. Don't worry, she'll be fine. Excuse me. What is it, Kajit? You enjoy archery, yes? Maybe we could go hunting together sometime. Nah, I don't think so. Go on. You never know, it could be fun. Get out of my face. Okay, okay. I... What is it? Okay, I guess. It's just weird, you know? After all this time, we're finally reunited, it. and now she's gone again. It's like a curse. She was such a good little girl, very bright. She wanted to be a teacher one day, then a singer the next. I hardly recognized her, you know, at the prison. I feel guilty about that. How could I do such a thing? I remember when she was about seven, Ragnar made her a doll. It was just doweling for arms and legs with a sackcloth dress and string hair. But her face lit up with the biggest smile. She wouldn't go anywhere without it. She would rough and tumble with the boys and fight in the snow. They would throw snowballs at the guards until they chased them off. One day the doll went missing. One of the boys told her the new dark elf girl had stolen it. I took Rigmore to their house, and the girl's father apologized and gave back the doll. Rigmore saw the little girl was hiding behind her father, crying. She handed the doll to the little dark elf girl and said, Why don't you keep it? and ran home. Ragnar made her another one, and the girls became inseparable. These memories kept me alive. I knew that while there was a chance she was too, there would come a day when we would be together again. Sometimes I wanted to just give up, get it over with, and see my beloved Ragnar again. But I would always see that little girl playing, or trying on dresses, chasing the boys. When they came for us, I tried to hold on to her. She was crying. They wrenched her away from me, and she kicked and screamed, and I couldn't do anything. I tried to reassure her. I told her everything would be alright, to go with them. I wanted to die. Barban explained to me how he rescued her. I am forever in his debt. But she didn't deserve this, Dragonborn. She deserved a normal, happy life. Little girls grow up to be mothers and daughters. The gods have cursed our family. They've stolen and corrupted her innocence. How can she ever have a normal life now? As long as they need her alive, that gives us hope, right? You must be so tired. Why don't you rest a while?
Yes, my friend. You know where I am. Do not forget about me, please. Cinderella, she's missing. Angie has gone to look for her. One of her bows is missing. We think she might have gone to try and find Rigmore. Hurry! What is on your you lead? I follow. She can't have gone far. Look for any fresh disturbed snow or tracks. She must have gone inside the fort. Yes? I'll follow your lead. Something to say? All I'm saying.
ja?